Hi guys, welcome back to the Kilohertz Mercedes channel and I hope you're all safe and well. This video you join me once again with my G55 AMG compressor which has the M113 engine. There's a common fault with these engines that you get the check engine light appearing on the dashboard and when you scan it you get the error code P0410. Now that relates to the air control smog system for emissions. Now there's two ways of actually fixing this, there's two components which need to be replaced. Firstly there's the large electric air pump and then secondly there's the air pump switchover valve which is a little unit which sits on top of the engine. So depending on the model of car you've got this might vary slightly about the locations and so on but this video is a guide which should help you. Anyway let's get started. So as I previously mentioned, the first and possibly only symptom of this issue will be a check engine light appearing on your dash cluster. Plugging my car into the Mercedes Star Diagnostic Machine confirmed the fault to be a P0410 and lists a couple of possible tests to perform when diagnosing the problem. Both the M33 electronic air pump and also the Y32 air pump switchover valve. Additionally, you may also see a P0413 error code appearing, as seen here on my iCarsoft diagnostic machine. See the link on screen now for a full video review of this product and exclusive kilohertz discount code. So let's start with replacing the M33 electronic air pump. Although these faults can appear on all Mercedes M113 engines, the actual location of the faulty components may vary. My car, a G55 AMG G-Wagon, awkwardly has the electronic air pump located down behind the headlight unit and is a total pain to remove. On other models it should be easier to locate and you may have a lot more room to play with when removing. So looking at the actual unit, you can see the main air pipe, covered here by a clear plastic cap together with a power pin connector and also three hole screws for mounting the unit onto the car. The old existing unit, by comparison, looks in a sorry state and has had over 100,000 miles of work under its belt. So for my particular car, I'm going to need to remove the wheel arch liner and remove it this way. Once you've removed all the trim and gained access, carefully remove the main air hose from the old unit taking extra care not to create a rip in the pipe. Then pop it off as soon as it's loose enough. Again, this may be simpler on your car if you don't have a G-Wagon, but start by undoing the three times 10 mil sockets to free the unit from its mounting bracket. Additionally, you'll need to undo this air hose, which is connected by a Jubilee clip onto the mounting hanger. With the hose as well as the three mounting 10mm screws disconnected, you are now free to remove the old unit from the car. Once clear of the car, you can get a good look at it. Next, you need to remove the mounting hanger off it. I'd strongly advise giving the hanger a good clean before you reattach the new unit. Regarding the cleaning, pay special attention to the rubber air valve cover, which is attached to the metal tube part of the hanger. with both the old and the new parts sat side by side, carefully swap over the hanger and all its components onto the new unit. This is what a unit looks like when it's served 100,000 miles plus of service. Work your way around the mounting bracket, reinstalling everything back onto the new part, making sure that everything is in its original location. Sandwich under the bolts are some rubber anti-vibration grommets or washers. Careful not to over torque them when screwing it all back together. With everything reattached to the new unit, it's now time to reinstall back into the car. Once 
Once reseated into the car, of course make sure that you correctly reattach the hose ensuring that it's seated properly with no risk of it ever coming free. So now for the second component which may cause the engine management light to come on. In fact this part is more likely to be the cause than the actual air pump. The Y32 air pump switchover valve. Please note that the name and part number for this commonly used part appears to change very often according to my local Mercedes dealership. Here you can see it's simply known as the switchover valve. At time of filming this, the end of 2021, it retails in the UK for £28.51 and was already in stock without the need to order the part in. This unit is very simple to replace, it's basically plug and play. Simply reattach the three air lines and power socket and use the attach clip to mount it back onto the engine. You'll be able to find the existing valve located under the engine's front trim. Carefully remove this off the engine and then the valve will be visible on the left hand side of the engine in front of the left hand air box as seen here. Simply swap the valves over which takes less than 5 minutes to complete. The air lines are tiny and come off easily with just your fingers, no tools required. Ok so that pretty much rounds up this video, now if you found it useful and helpful please give it a thumbs up which does help the channel grow and if you haven't done already consider clicking on that subscribe button with the bell icon so you're notified as soon as I upload new videos and content. As always, thanks a lot for watching, until next time, cheers.